What's going on, everyone? It's Dr. Jeff Hubbard touching base with you. It's day two of the, the 2021 commemorative fast, recognizing my mother, Evelyn Hubbard, and everything she did in my life and the life of others. Um, guys associated with this video, you'll see some before pictures. Um, basically, this is me depicting uh, where I currently am with my physique. Um, this month is going to be really focused on building lean muscle and, and being very strategic about how I eat and uh, some awesome supplements and other products that I think are going to be really, really valuable and you should consider. Um, and so, guys, uh, currently weighing 172. Um, so because of my height and, and weight ratio, um, that gives me a BMI of 26.2. So that's a body mass index, BMI. That's what we're going to be discussing today. What exactly is that? BMI is simply a calculation that uh, compares your height to your weight. So ironically, 26.2 is considered overweight. I think you'll agree with me when you see my pictures that I'm not overweight. So taking into consideration that this is just a really basic calculation. And it only takes into consideration height and weight. And so um, uh, muscle mass weighs much more than fat. So that's basically how I've gotten to the overweight category. Um, but, you know, taking into consideration that, um, you know, your BMI is simply height to weight. It does not take into consideration any other factors. And so if your uh, BMI is higher than you like it to be or lower than you like it to be, that's OK. Um, just take that with a grain of salt and consider that in the whole aspect of where you are um, with your health. But this is a very common and very popular uh, sort of calculation to determine where you are on the scale of obesity and weight. Okay. So you might hear that you often and frequently used uh, by your practitioner or by somebody who you're working with to kind of determine where you are on a spectrum. And that's simply it. You just kind of kind of place yourself in that spectrum. Um, but obviously there are some people who are really, uh, will be considered obese, maybe even type three obese who are extremely athletic NFL players, etc. And then there may be people who are in, uh, the, the good category of BMI who aren't healthy at all. And, uh, you know, don't necessarily have good cardiovascular fitness and, and don't have any stamina. So, you know, taking into consideration all of those things when you're thinking about BMI. So guys, I'm, I'm so super excited to uh, share with you uh, this fast this month. Um, you know, I'm always thinking about mom, but this is a special time in my life where I really emphasize and focus on her. Um, she was such an influential individual in my life. And uh, so I just want to give the proper reverence to her and, uh, you know, lift her up in spirit. And uh, I feel like on often occasions she's right there with me. Um, so that is always a good feeling that I have, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. And so I'll be talking about some stories along the way um, and helping you guys to kind of understand why she was so awesome and dynamic. And, uh, you know, look forward to everything to come, guys. So please stay tuned. I'm looking forward. Remember, your BMI does not really matter if you are healthy and functioning the way that you want it to. It's just simply a calculation. All right. So. Uh, that's my uh, two cents for the day, and hopefully that's edifying, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.